Hey everyone, so welcome back to another episode here. So today's episode is going to be a little bit different than what we usually see. I've been getting a lot of comments and people ask me through the Discord what my computer setup is, what kind of bots that I use, and what are some of the additional costs associated with getting into botting. So in this episode, I'd like to go ahead and cover a lot of those things that I just mentioned. And first off, we will get started with my computer setup. So overall, we'll talk about the hardware. Uh, I do use a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Here on the screen is basically an idea of what my MacBook Pro has spec wise. It is gonna be a 2.3 gigahertz, eight core i9 processor. It does have 64 gigs of RAM. Uh, decent graphics card. I wish the graphics was a little bit better, but then I asked myself, what would I even use that for? I don't game. So really for my needs, it is really great. Uh, I tend to be able to run four or five bots at a time without much lag. But displayed on the screen here is the exact spec Mac that I have. So this would be everything I just mentioned. It does have a terabyte solid state drive. And we are looking at a retail price of $35.99 before tax, which means with taxes, you're looking close to almost $4,000. Now, let me tell you guys, I did not pay $4,000 for this computer. I did get it brand new. But one of the things that I uh, would like to recommend to everyone is use Facebook Marketplace, use Craigslist. I know Craigslist is kind of thing in the past, but this is actually where I found this laptop. Essentially, I found a guy selling this and I made an offer on it. I think he was asking like 3400 or something. Uh, it was brand new, sealed in the packaging. And the reason for him selling it was that he had one similar to it. He had a few issues. Apple issued him a new machine and he just decided to use his old desktop instead. So I made a few offers to the guy, which really, I was lowballing him. I think I offered him like 2,700. He declined. I wanna say two months went by, and I finally followed up with him again, said, hey, you know, I can do 2,800. He offered 2,900, and I think we met somewhere around the middle, around 2,850. So I really got a huge discount off this computer at least a thousand dollars off what retail would be met up the guy super legit he was a graphics artist for some company so but yeah that's basically what i pay for this computer and i do want to show you guys my actual setup here so this monitor is a 38 inch lg monitor i think uh retail right now is around a thousand or 1050 um, and the cool part about this is it just has a single wire that actually runs from the back of the unit to my MacBook and is able to power the MacBook and display everything on the screen. Now again, I did not pay retail for this monitor. Uh, I found this monitor on, again, Facebook Marketplace. The guy claimed it was about 10 months old and I lowballed him and ended up scoring this for 650 bucks. And the cool part is the guy claimed he never really used it. Uh, just kind of sat in his office. So, you know, when I met up with them, monitor was in excellent shape. So I went ahead and picked it up. So I've had this about a year now. It's been flawless. Uh, it works great. And the reason why I chose such a large monitor is because I wanted the real estate of being able to run multiple bots, multiple Chrome windows if I had to. And this is exactly what I needed, especially with captures when I have 10 open capture windows on the screen definitely helps out and allows me to solve those faster and therefore allows me to buy more items. Now let's take a look at some of the bots that I use. The first bot I ever bought, well, technically the second, but I don't want to count the first because it was Addy Splash and, you know, I don't even think most people know about it. But the first legitimate good bot that I purchased was Cyber. Uh, I did buy Cyber for 3,200. This was back in January. Cyber has literally been my bread and butter. Uh, I remember the first month that I had it, there wasn't really many drops out there, but I was just trying to buy anything just to see how well it would perform. 
and I literally just couldn't check out anything. And that's when I realized I really needed to perfect my setup. Without a great setup, it doesn't matter what bot you have or how expensive it is, your setup is key to your success. Again, proxy wise, proxies are one of the most important factors when using a bot. Big shout out to Jelly Proxies and Oculus Proxies. These are my two proxy sponsors. And I've been using Oculus for the majority of the year and I've been using Jelly since their inception three months ago. These guys have been absolutely fantastic and I have made so much money with their proxies. So highly recommend those two. So be sure to check them out. But the best thing that I like about Cyber is its ability to quick test. The first thing you have to do though is you actually have to set up your quick test. So what you want to do is just hit the setup button right here. And when you come in here, you're able to select which bots that you would like to quick test. In this case, we're going to go ahead and set up Cyber Soul, hit save changes, exit out. And now when we come in here, if say I really wanted this shoe, these Lego 8000s, I just hit quick test. And that is going to forward all those tasks into Cyber right here. But first I gotta log in. <laughs> Hit the quick task button and that's gonna forward all my tasks here into Cyber. And now it's saying it's waiting for product or waiting for restock depending on if proxies are banned or not. Another cool feature about Cyber is it does have a mobile app. So this is another reason why I love Cyber because it doesn't matter where you are. If you're out in public or you're at work, uh, I've been out shopping before and got checkouts with Cyber and you're able to solve CAPTCHAs in the mobile app. So this is what it looks like. And you're just able to scroll through and look at all your purchases, which is really nice. Uh, you do have a CAPTCHA solver here. And I think that's really what sets this bot apart from most other ones out there. For that reason, I do give Cyber the number one bot rating out there uh, just because of the flexibility between the app, between quick tasking. Uh, but the app is really what solidifies this bot. Uh, and on top of that, the community, the Discord community behind Cyber is hands down the best I've ever seen for any bot company or cook group. So I tend to spend most of my time in the Discord talking with all those guys just because it's a great community. So one of the most frequent questions I get is how are you running Cyber on a Mac? Well, it's really simple actually. Uh, I use a program called Parallels and this is Parallels right here. So this is something that you do have to pay for, uh, but I think it's well worth it. So we'll come in here and click on buy now. The price is $80 per year. I think it's definitely worth it just because I don't have to run boot camp where I have to run directly Windows I can run Windows within Mac. So to give you guys an idea of what that looks like, the reason why my cyber looks like it's running natively inside of my Mac is because I'm using a feature called coherence mode. So coherence mode essentially removes the whole background of the Windows view. And I'll give you guys a demonstration what that looks like now. So here's Cyber. Uh, basically what we'll do is we'll come up here to view and hit exit coherence. And when we do that, it's basically going to create a window inside of Mac showing windows. Okay, my second most favorite bot is one of my most recent pickups and that is none other than Kodai. So Kodai for me has been absolutely fantastic for Shopify. It is a native app. Basically what that means is that the app runs directly on Mac. So I don't have any sort of lag. I'm not having to run uh, Windows like I do with Cyber. This is Kodai. Uh, my Kodai is actually a little bit unorganized. You'll see I have a lot of different drops. Some of these are gonna say, some of these are gonna have items from weeks ago, but I tend to keep these in here just because Kodai can't quit quick task. Instead of quick tasking like I can with Cyber, I can just right click on the link, copy the link and paste it right in here to product link and hit start task. So I've already got random sizing setup, uh, billing profile setup, so it's just quick and easy. But that is one of the limitations of Kodai at the moment is that there is not that quick task feature that I'm aware of. Uh, so hopefully we get that down the road. 
Now Kodai for me has done extremely well on foot sites. It was also the first bot that I'm aware of that had the PayPal guest checkout for foot sites, which helps avoid those cancellations. Now it seems like everybody on the sun has that. I would say the best feature of it is individual monitor delays. So for example, here on this uh, Shop Nice Kicks Dunk Test, I can run a delay of 3300. But if I come down here to Supreme, I can have delays of 500. And that's pretty cool because with other bots, you usually just have one set delay. You just put in 500. Well, if you're setting a delay for 500 for Supreme, then all your tasks that are running for restocks on Shopify suddenly get banned. With Kodai, you don't have to worry about that because you can set those individual task groups to have different uh, delays. Next up, we do have Project Destroyer. PD I initially picked up back in April, but I only used it for about a month and then I sold it. Uh, and then just recently, I don't know, a month and a half ago, I ended up buying it again, which uh, wasn't the best move considering I bought it for 400 originally and then I paid 1075 for it this most recent time. But PD has actually been really good on foot sites. Uh, it's been really good on a Yeezy supply. And I don't run it a lot, but when I do, I do tend to hit with it, which is pretty nice. Uh, but the main reason why I bought this, again, was just to compliment uh, some of the other bots that I'm using. Uh, particularly, I wanted this bot for Yeezy supply. Uh, so it does really well. Next up here is going to be Ghost. Um, I am a fan of Ghost. I have not had Ghost that long. I ended up picking this up for $975 a few weeks ago, uh, and I have managed to buy one item with it on Easy Supplies, so not much, um, but I do like this. Uh, I think it does good when it works, but there's been a lot of times where I've ran it and it just doesn't work. Uh, it's the bot's down or something on the back end isn't working correctly and it just flops. Version 1.0 is going to be coming out soon, which the value of this bot seems to be going up already. I think it's reselling for like 1200 maybe 13 uh, but I think we'll definitely see maybe a little bit higher price on this when 1.1.0 comes out. But I am not a bot flipper. I could run four or 500 tasks on the Easy Supply and it doesn't lag at all. Like it's the coolest thing. So yeah, Ghost, great addition to your collection. Then we have Splash Force. So I have a love-hate relationship with Splash Force. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, most times I use this, I only get maybe one checkout. <laughs> and uh, I just don't know what I'm doing wrong with Splash Force. It lags my computer though beyond belief. So what I've really had to do for the more uh, strenuous releases or the shoes that are super hyped, I'm having to run this on the server. And it's the only bot that I run on the server typically, but it just slows me down so bad. I will say this, that when magic mode is enabled, you don't need to use the inbot harvester here. And when you don't have to use this, then the bot can hold a lot more tasks. It's not as CPU intensive. Uh, and it just works really, really well overall. I have ran this bot with magic mode with 1500 tasks and it did really well. Um, so that is one benefit. Reselling this bot right now. I bought this for, I think it was $670 uh, and I think it's selling for around 1600 now. So let's get into Supreme bots. So I never was a Supreme fan. I didn't even know what Supreme was two years ago, to be honest with you guys. And I've really fallen in love with the brand. I really like the brand and the profit margins that I get from Supreme are so much higher than, than shoes. So that's one of the reasons why I like Supreme. My hands down favorite bot though is Mech. Now I purchased Mech about a year ago in September for I think $400, maybe it's 450. And the per resale price now is around 15, 1600, which I think is absolutely crazy for a Supreme only bot, but that's what the market value is. The best thing though about Mech is I literally feel like I'm guaranteed whatever item I'm going for every single week. Now it does occasionally flop from time to time, but the consistency is so good. I wanna say it's 95% consistent for me. I may miss on two drops the whole season with it. So Mech, hands down, is one of my absolute favorite bots. Uh, I know they came out with Mech AIO beta recently, and I would love to test that bot 
to see how consistent it is on Shopify versus this here. Uh, but I'm just guessing it's doing extremely well. The only other direct Supreme bot that I'm using right now is F3. I picked up right before the season started for $400. Resell right now is I think seven or 800, but this bot has been doing exceptionally well the last few weeks. In fact, as you saw in my last live cop, I said that I haven't been putting much focus into F3 just because I'm so accustomed to, to Mech doing all the work for me. But this past week, uh, I actually got three checkouts with F3 and only one with Mech, or maybe it was two, I can't remember. But still, F3 ended up being the most successful for me out of any bot. So F3 has really turned things around. Uh, they are doing exceptionally well. I think it's very underrated right now. Um, so this is really going to be my primary focus bot moving in the next couple of weeks. I'm still gonna put a lot of focus into Mech, but F3, I mean, it's just doing really well. So those are all the bots that I have, guys. I am testing Nebula right now as well, so shout out to Nebula again for letting me uh, use your bot. I haven't put a lot of focus into it, but I have ran it for some easy supply drops, Supreme drops, uh, but unfortunately I just haven't checked out anything with it yet. I am really looking forward though to Friday for the Easy Carbons because I will be running Nebula on that. So hopefully I can get a few checkouts with the bot and can show you guys that success. So lastly guys, I just wanna go ahead and cover some of the additional costs that I spend uh, on a monthly basis for my setup, for botting, and just what some of those things are that that my overhead looks like. So the number one, probably most expensive thing that I spend on botting is my proxies. So although I am sponsored by a couple of companies, I do choose to spend my own money on those, on additional proxies to make sure that I can run a crazy amount of tasks sometimes and hopefully get a lot more checkouts and have more success. I'm spending close to $200 a month just in proxies alone, which I know some people out there probably spend over 500 a month, but I just don't think I'm at that level yet. Cook groups, uh, I do pay for two cook groups. That is Tsunami and Restock Nation. Uh, together, those cost me $65 a month. Uh, both are excellent tools. They provide everything I need. Uh, early links, if one doesn't have it, the other one will. And then, you know, for the next release, it'll be vice versa. So they complement each other great for me, and it's fairly inexpensive. And last but not least, I would say bot renewal fees are probably the most overlooked aspect of botting. So just to give you guys some ideas, Kodai is $45 a month. Cyber is 130 US dollars every six months. So essentially that's $21 a month. Phantom is $150 every six months. Project Destroyer is $35 a month. F3 is $100 every season. And Mech is $60 every six months. So as you can see, these bot renewal fees really total up to a lot of money. So what bots am I looking to get next? Um, you know, I've already got a couple ideas of what I would like to buy next, but I think the prices are just crazy high right now, especially uh, maybe I wouldn't even like the bots. Maybe they're not for me or a good fit for what I'm doing. Uh, but number one would be Prism. So Prism has been absolutely destroying a lot of drops lately. Resell on Prism seems to range anywhere between $4,400 and $4,800 right now, which I think is a lot, but I don't know. It, it may be worth that. Um, I just, I haven't really, I haven't ever even got to try Prism. So uh, that is something that I would like to try out there. So if someone does have a copy and they would like to allow me to demonstrate that in some of my live cops, I will happily do that for you guys uh, and shout you out on the channel. The second other bot that I'm particularly interested in trying out is Velox. So Velox has been doing extremely well in Supreme lately, and I've never tried Velox. Uh, so that is another bot that I am looking to use sometime in the near future just to do some testing purposes and same with Prism. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but a lot of times what I like to do with this channel is run multiple bots just to show you guys which one is performing the best at that given time. So anyway, guys, that wraps up episode eight uh, in terms of what my setup is, what bots I'm using, what my overhead costs are, and basically what everything looks like. 
If you guys have any questions or comments, be sure to write that in the section below. Also be sure to subscribe and like the video as this really helps me out and that really gives me the motivation to continue doing these videos. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.